Black Swordsman arc. It's an integral part of the Berserk story that is unfortunately overlooked in the anime adaptations that would rather cover the more interesting part, which is the Golden Age arc. Is it easy to produce as a story? And yeah, it's been proven many times with the many adaptations that literally just do that, unlike Berserk 2016. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but fans of the original manga, like myself, have been frothing at the mouths for a complete proper anime adaptation only to be greeted with such atrocities such as the 2016 adaptation and movies that could never top the original 1997 show. Although Berserk 1997 still isn't perfect, it follows closer to the manga than its predecessors ever could. But what makes this version of Berserk still not the perfect adaptation is its removal of integral characters such as Puck and its entirety of the Black Swordsman arc. I understand though why they made this decision. If this show was from the beginning going to just be about the Golden Age arc, why would they include characters like Puck if they weren't going to be a part of the story? If there was a chance a studio that didn't waste their time adapting every isekai light novel in existence, perhaps we could have a proper adaptation of the Black Swordsman arc. But perhaps we'll just have to keep begging the big animation studios to finally make a good adaptation because there's no way anyone else could. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present Studio Eclipse. Two months ago, they released their first official trailer on this project that was announced almost a year ago. And from the looks of it, it looks fucking great. I've seen the comments saying the animation looks bad. And to that, I say, shut your pie hole and do it yourself then. This is the closest we have ever gotten to a proper adaptation to Berserk in the last 26 years. And the fact that the fans are the ones to do it says a lot about the current state of anime. The dedication that this community has is actually outrageous, but in a good way. And the fact that they are putting this out on YouTube for free is also just insane. Of course, they will get support over on Patreon, and I highly recommend you check it out, especially if you're a big fan of Berserk like I am. Animation is a really, really hard thing to do. A lot of fans take it for granted, but Anyway, I'm excited for this to release in 2025, and honestly, I can wait longer if that means it would be even better. I'm sure that if Kentaro Miura were here today, he would be proud of how much his creation has inspired others. And the dedication that they give to make sure his work is seen the way it was intended goes to show how much Berserk means to us as readers. Hopefully this shows the big anime studios how much we love Berserk and they give us a proper remake of what the 2016 Berserk was supposed to be. It is quite unlikely, but there might still be a sliver of hope. We'll just have to see what happens next. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. I will leave a link to the trailer in the description below if you haven't seen it yet. I think it looks fucking great. So yeah, just let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. And if you're as excited as I am about it. Also, one last thing. I really like the Golden Age Arc Memorial Edition. I'll make a video about that soon, so stick around and subscribe if you want to see that. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day. See ya.